Bobby. Yes, ma'am. Working on the glaze, sir? I am. Mm. We've got, um, what do we have in here? We have uh, brown sugar, some mm -hmm. butter to start. This is, the, this is the mustard and brown sugar glaze for the salmon. Um, and you've melted that. And then we add a little bit of soy sauce and some honey. And we're going to add the Dijon mustard now at the end. And the, uh, here, you know what? Take that off the heat chain. Okay. Just kind of pull it over here. All right. And stir it up. Okay. You want to add the mustard off the heat because you don't want it to break. You don't want it to separate. Oh, okay. All right. Let that cook. Uh, you know, keep stirring that for about four or five minutes. All right, Patrice, here's the deal. All right. Joey brought us this great salmon. Yes, he did. Um, and we don't want to ruin it. So I just want I'll you to... I'll leave it to me. I'll leave it. Oh, <laughs> see, confidence is high. Yes. And you brought your own plane with you, One too. One of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, olive oil, salt brush and it. pepper. Yeah, just brush it lightly. You don't have to okay. put a lot on. Right. And then we'll go over to the grill. Okay. I put a couple on, but we have some hungry people. Is that hot? Let see me what's see. Going on here. Yeah. You see, I just put the salmon on the grill like this. I'm just going to flip it over. It comes right off the grill. I mean, see, that's what I'm talking about, all right? You like a lot of pepper, or? Yeah, I do like a lot of pepper. Do you like a lot of pepper? Mm-hmm. Then put a lot on. Okay, here we go. It's beautiful. All right, Hands. now throw grill. them right on the grill. Okay. It's flesh side down. Bobby, Perfect. Patrice, can you, do you cook your salmon at the same temperature that you cook your vegetables? Well, what I like to do is I like to put, a, I like to use a hot grill. Okay, like this one. And just leave the salmon alone. You know, mm -hmm. I cook it on the flesh side, you see, and it just came right off the grill. Yeah. Very often people are intimidated about cooking fish because it sticks all the time. This okay? is one of the easiest ones to cook. It is. Because it's firm flesh. It's firm flesh and yeah. it has a lot of fat content, yeah. so it's awesome. And, and I like to leave the skin on because it also helps keep it together. Mm -hmm. Are you still stirring? I'm still stirring. Okay, well, why don't we start <laughs> brushing? The okay. idea here now, now we want to get, now at this point, you know, this, this salmon is perfectly fine. Yeah, it's olive oil, salt, and pepper, mm -hmm. and a great piece of fish. You can take this off, squeeze a lemon, and perfect. it's perfect. Mm. But this is hot off the grill. So we have to, we have to complicate up. things a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to add just a, you know, we're gonna add a little bit of this glaze that we made. Mm -hmm. Really simple ingredients. And this is something that can be da done days ahead of time because the sugars really preserve it all, right? It's the brown sugar, the mustard, the whole thing. The whole nine, as we like to say. <laughs> All right, who wants to do this? Uh, I can do it or Patrice, right. either way. Well, okay, we're going to have a fight here. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Why don't you guys I'll flip, flip a coin? I'll flip, and you, you brush, I'll flip. Okay, oh, fine. Right. Here we go. What am I going to do? All right. You stand there and look pretty, Bobby. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Now, Jane, you just, you know, just brush it right on top All of it. All right. You don't want to put this glaze on um, before you grill the fish, because then it will probably burn mm -hmm. because of the sugars and everything. How's that look? Looks really good. That looks so good. Looks awesome. Now, let's oh. see. Now, if you notice, we haven't touched the fish that you put on yet. I I'm not so sure it's ready to come up yet. <laughs> yeah, actually, we're going to let it, it let it cook for a couple, more, a couple more minutes, exactly. Then okay. it just releases by itself. Exactly. We're taking the salmon off the grill. Patricia's throwing some, uh, we have some cilantro here. You can you know, use any kind of herb you want. Actually, I like to take some chives also. Just kind of sprinkle them on. All right, you want to bring these over? My pleasure. Now, we're drinking Pinot Noir here, and we have Gary, our wine guy. Salmon, salmon. and Pinot Noir, red wine? Everybody kept saying, what white wine are we having now? What wine are we having now? And I said, no, we're having red wine. A nice fruit-driven Pinot Noir from Canaros, mm -hmm. which is right in between Napa and Sonoma. They get a cool growing season, so the, it takes a long time for the grapes to come through. It is rich. The salmon is a, a, a help me out here. Rich. rich. Buttery. A rich, rich. buttery. <laughs> Flavorful fish. The <laughs> There's almost no tannin in here. There is the reason why we it, like I mean, pinot really for this is there is no tannin whatsoever. It won't compete with the fish. It will complement the fat of the fish. It's delicious. Patrice, you cooked this perfectly. This is awesome. <laughs> Dry the money.